Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Foundation with Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo. And it's been over a week, and I've been actually in Star Citizen again, playing a lot. So I left this game for just a little bit, and because of that, I'm going to extend the contest for just this last episode, and I will announce the winner in the next one, which should be about three to five days from now. So... I've been watching some other videos and I've decided to take a look at a couple of things that are going on in my area. And these things are going to be relevant because I'm going to want to expand a little bit. But at the same time, I think I need to start thinking about where we're going to go from here. All right, so... I know that I'm going to need some people in more areas on this play, on this wonderful area of the map. So I'm thinking that we're going to do them right in this area over here. And in order to do that, we're going to have to make this land favorable. And I'll give you an idea of what that means. Here's our favorable areas to live in right now. And you can see what's making them favorable access to the market, to wells, and to other buildings, like our church is going to have a nice big green area around it, and so are some of people's favorite places to go, which will be like the market. Um, I'm also going to have to build another piece of the market over here. So right now I have one section pointing over here. It's... What happened over here is way too many people moved into the city center. So I didn't really get an opportunity to build that other piece of the market. We're going to evict you. I'm sorry about that, folks. We're going to have to build another piece of the market over here. And then we're going to have to start consolidating some of our, well, a lot of our production. So the first thing I want to do is just build another market. I'm going to make this one a separate one just because of where it is and it's going to be the goods store and it's going to be right over here the goods let's put them right here and i want them to have a red tent good and let's just get them a fence that's going to keep them fenced in over here and hopefully we don't screw with people let's turn them on so they go oh we have to slow this instance down just a little bit all right all right and I really do like making some of these pieces I love that they give you these pieces I wish they would snap together though that's something that fences should have automatically done they should have snap points on every fence that you put together so you can do this and snap a straight fence if you want to. And if you want to make certain changes in the direction that it's going, like what I'm doing here, then you should be able to do that too. I wish there was also a click to parallel something. So I could parallel something like this area right in here. Or at least that the last next one out pretty much follows the same angle that your last one was on. Let's just do this. Get this done. And like so. Oh, there was also another thing that happened. I, uh, I've been having minor issues with my iMac and decided to get rid of it. It's, it's seven years old and it really needed a big update. And I prematurely got rid of it and I didn't realize how that was going to impede my ability to do these videos so much. I rely on my Mac, don't make fun of me, to do all of my videos. And I had this idea and I've already jumped into this idea very well, was to purchase a Mac Mini and get an external graphic card. So I bought the external graphic card it was the Razer Core X and um, well that's the graphic card enclosure and the graphic card it doesn't have to be a heavy-duty one it just has to be one 
that's better than the internal graphic card, which is non-existent on the Mac Mini. So I got one of the new Radeon 590s, and mostly because that's the only company that will, well, I believe the issue is that AMD is making metal drivers for their, metal is the equivalent of uh, DirectX, I guess. And I don't know if it's the equivalent of DirectX, but it's the API that Apple uses for its graphics. And it excel hardware accelerated graphics are called metal on the Mac. So we, I got that taken care of and I figured for the interim, while I'm waiting to make some extra money, I would be using my my brand new company given MacBook Air to do my videos connected into the Core X, which is housing that graphic card. And then suddenly, when I get everything all together and need to start doing my videos, there's not enough ports. There's just not enough ports. And I don't want to go out and buy a whole Thunderbolt because I'm using all Thunderbolt products. I don't want to buy a whole Thunderbolt hub when I'm going to get a Mac Mini that has four Thunderbolts on it and that will fix everything. So I've been really challenged on doing my videos lately and that's what's been hampering my production. When I said it was coming back, I meant it and I have all this footage shot and now I can't get back into it. Uh, these are easy because I do some conversation with you while I'm playing. So we are, is this the bakery right here? I don't want the bakery right there. Bakery over there is stupid. The bakery should be, and you over there is stupid. And you over there is stupid. All right, let's figure this out. Hmm. I want to use this area in here for my sheep. So let's get this and this open. We're going to start moving some things around and we're going to start moving our production lines around. All right, so let's put a sheep farm over here. Let's make this our sheep farms, one here, and let's put one here. All right, and then I want to put a weaver's hut right across from it. So weaver hut right across from it like this. And I think I'm going to be out of money for this, but let's put the tailor in right over here. That should make everything nice, nice. I think this is going to be a little bit too close, though. So let's, well, if I kill that, then we're going to lose the money on that one. I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine over here. All right. So now, let's see if I could get some decorations over here. Decorative plant, road sign, fence. Let's put a fence. I want everyone to come here through this fenced road. And this is one another one that I'm going to be annoyed with. Let's come on. All right. And I'm hoping that people will use this. As their way of coming up this way. And not walk around it. Let's look at it from up here. We could actually move things around, make it work. We ran out of money on that one. All right, let's let it run. 
All right, so this area in here needs to be built. So I want this prioritized. I want this prioritized. Those two things are prioritized. The secondary thing that I had a problem with was this church. Well, with that gone, that means there's more space over here for people, right? We can get people in over here. And if there's going to be a church right here, we have to let there be a church right here. Okay. Alrighty. The second thing I decided was if I'm going to have this up here, I'm going to need a couple of warehouses over here. So I want a warehouse like right here. And I want a warehouse right here. That's going to be for obvious things. I'm going to wind up getting rid of these. These are stupid. I could put these in any time I want to. I don't know what's going to happen up here, but we could direct people through a fence later. Fencing in an area just doesn't seem like it's going to be the best thing to do. All right, now, up here, iron mine. Now, a lot of people like to do this. Oh, let me put this right on top of here. It really doesn't matter where you put it, but if you see that little green symbol right there, the little green triangle that's pointing in, that's the direction that your worker is going to be entering this hut. So in reality, I could put it anywhere on this green area, okay? So I'm gonna back it off just a little bit and put it right over here. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think I have to do this. All right, that's good. Okay, so let's start thinking. So if this weaver hut is going to go away, and it's going to go over here. And this sheep shepherd is going to go away, and it's going to go over here. All right, so there was another thing that we had. Over here, we have this wood camp. And we really do not have any way to reforest this area right now. So we need... A forester's hut over here too. That way this wood camp is producing for these things right here. So let's get that taken care of by building a forester right over here. And remember, again, the triangles point to the way that your people are going to be walking in. This doesn't make sense over here because they're going in the back. But that over there... All right, good. So once that forester comes up and we populate it, we should be good. Now we have two people that need places to work. Let's see where we can put them. Well, we can put them into that new... One of these new sawmills that we built. When we moved all our sawmills over here. All right, so secondary things. Let's see what we're starting to keep over here. Now, I want this to be berries. One new building unlocked. What new building is unlocked? It might be in here. Um, to, 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 oh, stone wall and a church. All right, so if he tells me to build a church before I even have what, four new buildings unlocked? Where are they unlocked? Yep. Um, we'll build your church, but it's going to take us some time. All right. So we have a new quest to build a church. Now we have to think about where we're going to build that church. I think we have more than enough area over here, which will build this area up pretty well. So let's get rid of the market construction. Let's get rid of this rustic church over here. And let's check out 
the regular church. Let's pause it. And let's just see if we could build that over here. So I'm going to build my church with the core like this. Oh, this is going to be too big for this area. We are going to need a big area for this church. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm just thinking that this church might want to be right on the water. Let's see how this looks. I think the church will look good with three of these next to each other. Get this. Oh, really? All right, good. So the first one down. So if the first one down is the one that's in control. Yeah, there we go. I want to see how we're going to situate this. I really want this overlooking the water. All right, so we're going to take this one up like there. I'm going to take this one up there. Sorry. I want this up to be a little bit. Oh, wow. That's just not sitting right all right that looks good all right good um, gargoyles on the edges, right here, one right here. I wish they would just stay on because I want four of these guys. Two. Alright, gargoyles. And we're not going to be able to get glass just yet. All right, so, um, round tower, right here, and bring it up to here, round tower, bring it up to there, good, um, let's do the big tower, let's bring it all the way up. Um, I think it needs to be up just a little bit more. That's good. And that will give us a place to put our wonderful door. And I think the door has to be like this. Good. Perfect. All right. And then the back, I just want round towers. Like I just moved something. We're gonna need a cross right on top. I want this inside somewhat. All right, so maybe, just maybe, I want this in like this. And again, round tower. Like that. Bring it up. And then another round tower.
why is that not working now? We need the snap on this. All right, so I need that down, this up, one more, right? It's not even, that's even. These might look better down. Nope, that's good. And then the cross all the way up top. There we go. I think that will be a nice, very nice, yep, that will be a nice church. We'll worry about landscaping and everything outside later. Ooh, I like that. Maybe I'll make it look like that. I didn't realize I had stone red and blue. Stone church, I'm telling you, the stone church probably going to look better. But that looks cool. That looks cool. That might look better. I don't know. It's not going to match everything. Ah, uh, we'll go with the stone. Start the construction. That also leads me to here. I need to fix this area just a little bit. Um, let's see if we can fix this trapezoidal effect that's going on around here. I think that will look a little bit better. Good. I'll leave it like that. That'll give us a little bit more room to do things. We're not using this stone. We're not using that stone. We got rid of this area over here. Let's go ahead and make this all awesome areas for people to live. And that should give people a little bit more room. All right, second things. I want another gathering hut over here. another one over here all right that's going to give us some food over there everything over here is getting built very happy about that we'll just move everybody over and we're keeping our production lines together so as soon as we get rid of this I want to put down another wheat farm and have that wheat farm like right here Fill in this area over here. Like this. All right, get rid of a lot of this painted area right in here. Just let our woodworkers work in that area over there. And not in this area over here, because this area over here, we just want houses to grow in. All right, little by little, we're getting this fixed, or at least trying to fix it. Now we do have something dropped over here, which makes me believe that I was going to throw down a wood, cutter over here a lumberjack but I don't think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna do it up top I think we're gonna build this area up for our production of tools we'll worry about that up there so let's see how things are going we've got a little bit of everything going on today don't we fixing our production lines Making sure, ev look at all that food we have all of a sudden. Look at that amazing, up. Oh, people don't have clothes. You know why they don't have clothes? They don't have clothes because they need this right here. And we're going to have to wait on woolen cloth. Oh, we have woolen cloth. Let's get that market made. 
This one over here needs a couple too. Got a beautiful area over here. Beautiful area. I am loving this game, folks. Just a lot to do, a lot to think about. All right, so let's see. If we want people to live over here, and we want people to bake, like this is going to go away. This is going to be a bakery. That means I'm going to want to, yeah, I'm going to want a well right there. That's exactly what that means. Right in front, right here. All right, so we got a well going in over there. It's a sheep farm. I want you guys going as quickly as possible. And let's see if we can get this stuff done in this episode. I don't think we're going to have enough time in this episode for anything that's going on up here. I think that this area is a pipe dream. But I think we're going to be fine looking in the other areas down in this direction. Once we get this fixed over here, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, and this over here. So as soon as they're done, we're going to put a forester down here. Yeah, we have a lot going on. Let's see if we have enough people to do two more builders. If we do two more builders, we're going to get through this just a little bit faster. So we got those people building too now. Look at all this, all these resources we have. We have tons, but we have no bread because our bakery, we got rid of it. Yep, we trashed our bakery. I think we trashed our bakery because I was thinking about putting it right there. Wasn't I? I think I was. Yeah, I was. Bakery, go right there. All right. Everywhere we have anything like this, I'm building more. So... This is going to be a bear, a nightmare. All right. Well, these things are not getting done. We need more planks. And I think, all right, so if we need more planks, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to say, let's get this. That's planks also. Damn it. All right. And planks are wood. Why are we holding stone here? Oh, because the stonemasons are over here. We're holding planks here because we're selling them. We're holding tools here because we're buying them. We're not buying or selling fish, are we? Are we buying or selling fish? That's the most important question on my mind right now. So are we buying or selling fish? We are selling fish. I'm going to say we don't do anything with fish and we lower this down to zero and we get them out of that there we go I just don't see a need for us to sell fish not right now all right so we need this All right, you guys are building that. I need this over here. All right, two more people coming into the town. We're still at 75%. And we're about ready to fix clothing once we get this done over here, which will get rid of this tailor, which will open this up for something else, maybe more housing. Oh, this is going to look nice. Going to be a real pretty sight. Still waiting for the kingdom to send over an envoy to ask for our soldiers. 
That seems to happen way too often these days. What are our builders building? Hopefully houses. Houses for our people. So we, we need one market tender when we get those two people that come in. And the other one, maybe another builder, just because. Yeah, the AI doesn't work very well in this game because these guys go around the back when it looks like the front and the back are both entry points into this hut. In fact, it looks like the front is the entry point, but they keep going to the back. You see how the road goes right up to the back? Just weird. Where this one's perfect. He goes right through the right door. He could have gone through the... Oh, he comes out that door. Oh, so he goes through that door and out that door and he gets the wheat. You see, this is why we have to move this. We have to move it because he's right in the middle of the wheat farm. All right, so as soon as you get built... Do we have anyone yet? No, but we did get them. All right, so something annoying is going on right now. Let's go to settings. Let's turn that off. Edge scrolling is just an annoyance. I knew it could be turned off. And now I could just use the keys. Great. So I like how they come all the way down to the water and walk around. It's kind of... Well, it's not kind of. It is just very cool. Juliet's assigned to the construction. Where is Juliet? There's Juliet. Can we center on her? I think Juliet might w live far, far away. <laughs> Look at these roads. All these little side roads they have to take. She walks right through her house. That's just nuts. And she's going... She, oh, look at that. This could take a while. We are definitely following Juliet. Are you going to go up there and give a place for our forester to work? Let's move this out of the way so people can see your beautiful face. She really is hammering that thing. I hope she gets it done with it in just one setting. It would be really horrible if she said, you know what, now I have to go eat and then just leave it almost done. And that does happen. It happens often. Oh, we're done. Look at that. Perfect. All right, so this person. Is now assigned. Good. We have a couple of market tenders that need to be assigned. I don't know why we have two market tenders that have to be assigned. Did somebody get up and leave? That would be a good question. Forester camp, done. House done, house done. Good. Getting things done around here. Now, I need this done. That's important. Yeah, because right now we have, I mean, it's Taylor goes to here, he goes to here. I mean, it's one straight line, but they're not right next to each other, which is kind of pain in the butt. Just waiting for things here. Just to get done, your house is waiting. So I need this now. Are we waiting on tools? No, we have them. 
Juliet just fit. Okay, so Juliet is building this too. Alrighty. Then we need the Weaver's Hut. Probably put those two close to each other. But you know what? I hate saying this, but it is what it is. <laughs> Does everybody hate that? It is what it is. Okay, we're waiting patiently for her to come over with five tools. Now she's going to come over here whack on this a little bit. She doesn't have any tools with her. Yeah, she didn't bring any tools with her. She's just going to get it partially done right now. Then she's going to go get the tools and come back. Juliet, come on. Oh boy. That is going to make these two things very close to each other, isn't it? How much do we have? We have 325. I think that has to go. I think this has to go. We're just going to have to lay these in right afterwards. I want this to go. I need to see how this gets laid out before I can knock anything else down. There's an envoy here. This might be the end. We're going to take it to getting our next piece of property. And that will be it. Alright, there's another house. Is that Juliet? No, it's Kunigundi. Kunigundi's been with us for quite a while. I think she was one of the first people to enter our village. Oh, two more people coming. That's good. All we have to do is just wait for our people to come back from this wonderful pilgrimage. <laughs> pilgrimage. This crusade, and then we'll be all set. I right, get that done. Um, I think I, I don't know. I think I might want this. Just a little bit less. Like that. Just so it doesn't encroach on our area over there. But then it could come back out. Alright, so this whole area in here still has a wood cutter, right? Right here. But this area doesn't. So I'm wondering if I could open this area right here. And this area right here to more houses. And... Yeah, that'll be good. That should give us enough space for people to live. Um, but I don't want people encroaching their houses on this area where we're extracting trees. I think that'll be good. And this right here, just a little bit more in. There. Because we gave them this whole area over here before. All right. Good. Things are looking up. If we could just get somebody to come back over here and bring us some tools. We have ten tools. Somebody should be able to come. All right. We're going to keep that right there just so we can see it. Let's see if anyone comes. Oh, Juliet's bringing the five tools. Looks like we're going to be done. OK, 
cannot do anything else to be sure about this. All I know is that Juliet is coming. Juliet, you are far, far away. Juliet, where are you bringing those tools to? You're just walking. Are you getting the tools? Okay. You had to go, ooh, you had to go all the way over there to get the tools. Hmm. That makes sense why it took so long now. And then you gotta walk in all these crazy ways. Fish? No, I don't think we have the fish. We have not fixed our fish yet, have we? No, we haven't. Um, we'll just fix that next. Come on, we know that you can fix all this. I think our best recourse would be I don't know where we want to expand next. I'm thinking right here. Because I want to have a big forestry place out there. Alright, she's coming around the mountain when she comes. Now she's just walking around the town. Carrying that big box as far as she's going. Wow, her back is going to hurt tomorrow. I wish she had like wheelbarrows or something. Wow, she had to cut really close around that house. Alright, that's good. So, I'm thinking that if we want this to look nicer, we might want to do this. And see if she cuts her way through somewhere else. What if we just make this like this? see if that will restrict their movement cutting around that house and if they'll do a more direct path all right so let's spawn some sheep and let's get rid of this one right here bam gotcha all right so that's one sheep farm and then what we want is another sheep farm right about here And then we want a weaver hut. Well, we don't have enough money for a weaver hut. But we'll get enough in just a few moments. We should have our people back. Let's bring up... There we go. Now we have enough money for the weaver hut. Where is the front door? There's the front door. And the weaver hut will go right here. And when we get enough money, we'll drop the uh, tailor in across. There's all our sheep just running around like crazy. I think this will be much better, and people hopefully will live in this area. I'm not too excited about them getting this done. Well, I'm, I'm not too anxious for them to get this done. I'm excited about them getting it done. Just not anxious right now. So this needs to carry clothes. Oh, so that was getting built. That whole time that was getting built. Hmm. That whole time this was getting built. That was a waste of time. All right. So, Forrester assigned. That's good. And let's go to another builder. We have such a lot to do that having that extra builder is going to be great. All right, we're almost done here, folks. 
It'll just be a few minutes before our people come back and we pick our next piece of land. And I'm doing eeny, meeny, miny, mo right now because I don't know if I want this area, this area, or this area. None of them have anything on it. I think the best thing for this area would be nothing. But over here, I could build another town center right in the middle of this one that would feed people into this area and this area. That's what I'm thinking. But right now, we're going to push for the weaver hut so we can get rid of the other one. And I think our production lines are going to be set by the next time, or maybe I'll let everything get built and then I'll come back on. That's the way I think we're going to do it. All right, so we're dropping production here of a lot of things. Let's see if this has been fixed. Yes, this area has been fixed. So our woodcutters will have places to cut down or, or items to cut down as soon as this guy gets... Oh, we already had a woodcutter going up. We have a forester there and a forester there. It's making me worrisome. All right, so what if we take this, pull it up, and we say, you know what? We want you guys to do this whole area over here. All right, and we want you to be able to cut that area too. people should be back any minute now. At least I believe that. There we go. And there's just a little tail over here that looks kind of weird. There we go. Good. We got all that done. You got to go away because we're going to put another windmill over here. All right, so the warehouse is done. Warehouse should be right over here somewhere. It is. There's two warehouses over here. We're going to leave them empty for the time being. We'll take care of them in a little bit. So moving the sheep over here without getting this done is going to be a problem. So Emma's going to bring 10 stone over here. And then we're just going to need our tools and our wood, our planks and our tools. And then we can get that second one up. All right, so I want another right over here. Another mill. And how do they get in? You know what, maybe I'll just put this one over here. It'll be like, here's all the fields behind here. That'll be nice. Meanwhile, this hut's right in the middle of everything. And building another gathering hut, like over here, will be nice. So any minute now, our people are going to come back, and we should be able to move on. just makes sense to have a lot of berry bushers <laughs> berry bushers oh I know what happened we built that there and accidentally we thought we were building one of these over here we accidentally built one of those but I think this will be good having both here that will keep this area well 
taken care of. Looks like a little bit of this is getting built. Yep. So that should be done next episode. And the Weaver Hut is indeed getting done. Jen, up oh, there it is. We got our free territory. So we're at the end, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video and taking part in my channel. I am sorry for not having the end of the contest today. It will be by the next episode, three to five days. I just want to give more people an opportunity to join the contest. And uh, I guarantee on the next one we will be giving it away. I have a couple of good names. A lot of people trying to make uh, names out of my name or out of things in Star Citizen. I think that's kind of cute. And we will be looking at that later on. You know, in the grand scheme of things, I'm liking our beautiful little city here. Let's see if we can see it from this direction, how it looks. Oh, it does look pretty, doesn't it? And soon the skyline is going to grow with this whole big giant church going up. All right, so if you liked the episode, please click the thumbs up button. Please give me any and all tips that you have right in the comment section below. And if you do subscribe, please click the bell-shaped icon so you get notified of all my future videos. And with that said, folks, you all be safe out there, and I will talk to you soon.